Lucas Giolito, the right-hander from Double A. Joe Ross, now with a big club in the major leagues, of course. Reynaldo Lopez, a right-hander from High A. Eric Fetty from Low A, now up at Hagerstown, Single A Hagerstown. He's number four. And A.J. Cole, the right-hander, is in Triple A. And Eric Fetty joins us now at our Nats Extra pregame show. Eric, you made your move last night from A, low ball A in Auburn up to Hagerstown. You made your debut. I know it's not exactly the way that you had planned it to be last night in your first start against Augusta, but how did you feel and what what, what kind of a vibe did you get out of your first start? Well, I felt great. Uh, you know, the elbows holding up uh, really well. I felt like you know, I could throw my pitches for strikes. Uh, I was happy to be there. Uh, you know, like you said, a little bit of a tough outing, but, you know, it happens, and just ready for the next one. How about telling us about your arsenal? What's your favorite pitch as you go through a start after start? My go-to pitch is my two-seam fastball that I throw a lot, and uh, I have a slider and a changeup. That's pretty much my main, and uh, mixing in a four-seam fastball now. Now, Eric, you and Bryce were teammates back in Las Vegas. He has called you the guy with the best slider he has ever faced. That's a tremendous compliment. Did you ever strike Bryce out? Uh, uh, maybe not back in the day. I mean, we played together up until sophomore year of high school. At that point, he was, uh, you know, quite the player, and I was still um, maybe an underdeveloped player. And, you know, he definitely had my number. And what do you take for those years in Las Vegas with Bryce Harper as a teammate? I remember, uh, you know, a lot of attention around that team, especially around him, uh, you know, watching a special player. And, you know, it was cool seeing crowds come out to watch him play. And, you know, there was a lot of hype every time he played. You know, that's fun to play around. And, um, you know, it was cool to watch him play and do some special things that you don't get to see every day. Now, in high school, you were also all-state in soccer, but you chose baseball. What was the reasoning behind that? Yeah, soccer was probably my number one sport growing up for most of my time. Uh, I think around junior, senior year of high school, you know, I started throwing the baseball pretty hard and getting some attention from, you know, the, uh, the major leagues. And eventually senior year when I was drafted, uh, that kind of made the decision pretty easy that it looks like that's where my future was going to be. When the Nationals drafted you last year, only two days after undergoing Tommy John surgery, a tremendous boost for you, I'm guessing confidence-wise, to know this organization, Mike Rizzo and the Lerner organization, had such confidence in you to know what a future you had in Major League Baseball, being the number one draft pick, and then having surgery just two days before they drafted you. You know, you're sitting in a cast knowing that you're not throwing for another six, seven months, and you know, not pitching for a whole other year and a team willing to take you and like uh, and believe in you that you are going to be able to come out and, pre and perform at a top level. It's uh, you know, it makes things a lot easier. You know, when I'm pitching today, knowing that there's an organization behind me that believes in me and just to go out there and pitch and. They believe I have the ability to get it done. Rehabbing from what you underwent, Tommy John surgery had to be tough. What was the toughest part of going through the rehab process? Definitely the mental. Um, you know, I'm a guy that hasn't sat around much in my time. Uh, but, you know, there's three, four months of where, you know, you're recommended to do not much at all and just sit around. And that was very difficult. And then uh, once you're getting back into everything mentally, you know, things feel weird, your arm hurts, um, and you... The hardest part is realizing, you know, they fixed my elbow. It's fine. Just keep throwing. The pain is normal. And, you know, being in an organization where a lot of guys have gone through that and having a lot of people tell me this is normal, don't worry, uh, it definitely made the mental side easier. Undergoing Tommy John surgery has to be tough for anybody. Now, on this ball club, Steven Strasburg, Jordan Zimmerman had uh, Tommy John, and also Lucas Giolito. Did you have a chance to talk to those guys about what they went through and what to expect? I met uh, Strasburg when I came to D.C. last August. You know, he, we had a few words in the exchange uh, just saying, you know, keep going with it. Uh, make sure you find things to keep yourself busy when, you know, everyone else is playing. And, um, you know, just to try to learn the game when you're not pitching. And, you know, Giolito is my roommate for all of spring training and some of Extended this year. And I got to hang out with him a lot in the instructs as well. And, you know, he's been one of my best friends. And, you know, he's been a huge help on telling me, you know, what to expect and you know, not to panic and things of that nature. And one last question for you, Eric. What's on the horizon for you? What is your plan? What goals have you set for yourself to get up to the major leagues? I just want to finish out this year in Hagerstown and pitch extremely well and, you know, prove that, you know, probably going into instructs later this year, 
um, that I'm a recovered pitcher and I'm getting back to my old self. And then, you know, going into next year as, uh, you know, the person I was coming out of college before surgery and getting ready to see where the Nats have me plan to be next. Eric Fetty, not pitching for Hagerstown. Eric, thanks so much for your time and all the best to you, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it.